Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today on What The Hey, I'm talking about things that I wish I would've known before going into high school. First things first, people are still gonna try to be cool in high school. Personally, for me, I felt like middle school and high school were the years where I was like, I have to have people like me because if they don't, then I'm just a horrible person. So like, I tried to be cool and like, that didn't really work out. People are still my friends, like, I was chill, but, like, just trying too hard to be cool does not work out. So if you see people like that in high school, that's just how it is. Some people are gonna be like that, and that's okay. Maybe they're just insecure, so you can, like, go up to them and actually learn, like, what they're about and what their actual interests are. So it may just be, like, an insecurity kind of thing. So this may just be for my school, but I felt like 11th grade really matters as far as grades go because it's the year before senior year and colleges really are just looking at the years like 11th, 10th, and 9th grade. I feel like more so than senior year, although you should certainly still try senior year. For me, it kind of stunk because I had chemistry in 11th grade and I really was not good at chemistry. So my grade for that class was not bueno. I still passed, but just know I feel like 11th grade felt like it really mattered for me as far as grades go. Not that grades are what determine your worth, but like, just make sure you're not slacking, okay? For the next thing, I feel like you can do all the sports, all the theater, and all the extracurricular activities, and you can still go to a community college like I did. I felt like before going into high school, during middle school, teachers and everyone was like, you have to do that stuff or colleges are going to hate you. They're not gonna hate you, they're just gonna be like, oh, they just did their classwork and that was pretty much it. Which is totally fine if you're smart, but being smart doesn't get you everywhere in life, so it's like a 50-50. Like for me, I'm currently in a community college where the only really big requirement is that you keep up your GPA, like getting into it. Some community colleges are different, but they didn't require me to do a bunch of theater and stuff like I did in high school. So essentially what I'm saying is if you feel pressured to do the extra stuff, you don't necessarily have to, um, unless your parents are like, you need to run because you do the video games 24-7, so cross-country club. Here's another one that I feel like is very important. You most likely, in high school, once you graduate, will not keep in touch with your high school classmates. It honestly, I guess, depends on how big your class was, because I went to a small high school, and my senior class was like 17, 18 people. Even then, I do not keep up with all the people I graduated with on like a 24-7 basis. I have like my best friend from middle school through high school that I keep in touch with, like daily pretty much, but everyone else, I see that they're doing okay and that's pretty much as good as it's gonna get. That does not mean that I don't care about them, because I do, but it just doesn't mean that I'm going to bother them 24-7 and ask, how are you doing? Each day. So if you're in the current situation where you feel like you're just stuck with a bunch of people for four years and you're gonna have to keep tabs on them and go to reunions with them, you don't really have to. It's okay. It's just how it happens. If you stick with all the people in high school, that's cool, but I didn't. Go you. <laughs> Another thing that I wish I knew before going into high school was that I would complain about the classes that I would have to take. Now generally, I believe how it goes, at least for how my school went, you can pick more of what you want to take, like if you want to take an art elective or you want to take something that you enjoy more so than just taking math, English, history, science. But I know there is like students in my classes and other ones who were like, why aren't we taking classes on how to learn how to do taxes? The school education system can't necessarily do that. For most people, it's a public education system, so it's not like each school can necessarily cater to every single person's needs as far as education is concerned. High school gives you more of the freedom of, oh, you can take an art class or whatever you want, but you can't entirely base your schedule off of what you specifically want to learn. There's still going to be some sort of schedule. High school education kind of just gives you a basic knowledge of everything, whether or not you're actually going to use it. And that's where college is nice, because you actually get to pick what you want to learn. Another thing that I wish I would have learned was that sometimes it's better to have a good relationship with your teacher rather than your classmates. I went to a high school where the teachers that I had um, did not necessarily want to be horrible teachers. Like, they wanted to teach for the sake of teaching and, like, educating people and being nice. I know for a fact that that's not every teacher in every school, and sometimes students have horrible teachers who just want to ruin kids' lives. 
But I will say, if you're in a class with a teacher who actually cares about you or shows that they have a passion for teaching you, sometimes it's better to be on their good side, not necessarily kiss up to them because that's just stupid, but actually not be mean to them. <laughs> Another thing that I wish I would have known was that high school is not always going to be fun. Some people say high school or college are going to be the best years of your life. They might not be, and that's totally okay. I can totally say that there were multiple times that I cried during high school just because of stress, which is not a great thing. Some people are just not meant for like an education setting like that, so that's why there's like online school, there's tutoring at home, there's different types of way to do school. School is not really for everyone. I personally want to be a teacher because I love learning new things and sharing new things, that's why I have this channel. But I absolutely can agree with the fact that high school is not always the best option for some people. Some people drop out during high school. So this is the last thing. I wish I didn't need to worry about what I was going to wear at school. So for my middle and high school experience, I went to a private school. So we kind of had like a uniform kind of setting kind of thing going on. So I didn't necessarily have to worry about what I had to wear and what others thought about it because we were all kind of wearing the same thing. But I'm pretty sure at other public schools and general education, like, school settings, people tend to wear what they want within regulation. But I can remember a few times where I was like, oh, people are gonna think I'm weird because I'm wearing this. It really doesn't matter. If you think it's cool and it doesn't really bother anyone, like, to the point of offending someone off the planet, don't worry about it. <laughs> High school is a very interesting time. I wish you the best if you're going into it or if you're in it currently. There are going to be really fun times and there are going to be bad times and getting through all of those is what makes you a better person. So I wish you the best as you go through your adventure.